and one. You got to go back to Joe Johnson <laughs> hitting a clutch shot down the stretch. As you pointed out, Barry, they have been struggling on the road. The Gamecocks trying to pick up their first home victory in the Southeastern Conference. Former South Carolina coach Eddie Fogler in the house today. Remember vividly the shot in the corner by Joe Johnson. Defended well. But Joe Johnson and Nolan Richardson's hogs able to knock off Eddie Fogler's Gamecocks in 01. Gamecocks control the opening tip as we are underway from Columbia. What do we look for out of Arkansas defensively? Well, they both these teams play pressure defense. They like to play up-tempo basketball. Forcing turnovers will be critical for both squads. Here's and there's one. the first one. <laughs> and we'll keep an eye on that. That, at times, has plagued the Gamecocks this year, and it's been a huge strength for Arkansas. South Carolina had 24 turnovers against Mississippi State in the conference opener. Ellington's first game back, he had nine turnovers. Backdoor cut, shot rejected by Jackson, and there's Scott with a jumper. I like Arkansas's first possession, attacking the basket. B.J. Young turned away with that shot. But I love Arkansas getting it into the paint, attacking the rim. Tried to get it into Carrera and said it's another turnover. Gully. Not a good sign for the Gamecocks to start the game with two turnovers. They haven't attempted a shot yet. This is Young working on Smith. Around the horn. From the corner, the three is true. That is Marshawn Powell, not known necessarily for his three-point shooting, but the big man can hit it from outside. Yes, he can. He is Arkansas's best three-point shooter this year. He had the knee injury, so he had to sit out, wasn't able to get up and down the court, but he could get out and shoot it and added that part to his game while he was out with injury. Well, the keys to the game as we take a look at it for Arkansas, what we just saw a couple of possessions ago, Barry, go to the rack. Yes, they are a poor three-point shooting team, only 31% on the season. They have an advantage around the basket. They need to make the most of it. And for South Carolina, they need to have a huge advantage as far as points off turnovers. Not off to a good start in that category so far with their two turnovers and none for Arkansas so far. Jackson. Inside to Carrera. And Carrera draws the foul. That's their energy guy, Michael Carrera, the freshman. Mike Anderson now in his second year with Arkansas. He was an assistant with the Razorbacks under Nolan Richardson for 17 years. Went to UAB, Missouri, and now back in Fayetteville and trying to get this Arkansas program back to the NCAA tournament. Carrera too strong in the free throw. He shoots 82% on the year. And an animated young man, as we can see and hear, talking to himself <laughs> after that missed foul shot. Knocks down the second, and the Gamecocks are on the board. Surprise we're not in a more up-tempo game so far. Strong take by Powell, and Carrera tears away the rebound. Both these teams like to get up and go. Nice left-handed shot by the freshman, Shakavius. And quickly down the floor, beating everybody is Hunter Mickelson, the sophomore. Here we go, a little tempo being added here. Jackson out of control. Numbers for Arkansas. And an easy lay-in for Mickelson. He's got four. Beautiful job by Fred Gully on that trip. Didn't get in a hurry. He had the numbers, but a lot of times guys get impatient, try and force it to the basket, try and force a play. Gully waited for the play to develop, hit Mickelson wide open underneath. Williams in the trees, knocked out of bounds to South Carolina. Frank Martin in his first year, what a job he did at Kansas State. Four NCAA tournaments in five years, left the program in great shape. They've got another good team this year, but he knows it's going to be a long road to go here compared to what he had at K-State 
In that first year, he had two NBA players. Nice conversation with him before the game. Very candid about his reasons for coming to South Carolina and leaving Kansas State. Just felt very comfortable with this situation and with his family and his wife's family on the East Coast. It's a much better situation from that standpoint as well. Shot clock at one and a foul on Scott. That'll drive a coach crazy. No doubt. And this will drive a coach crazy as well. The turnovers by South Carolina early on. Arkansas able to force those turnovers and push it down the court. And great patience by Barrett Gully there. Waited for his big guy to open up underneath the basket. Converted the easy layout. Baseline jumper off the mark by Kytrinus, the other freshman from Lithuania. Already three turnovers on the Gamecocks. Arkansas, number one in the league in turnover margin. Block foul, count the basket, and a chance for a three-point play for Ricky Scott, the junior from Irving, Texas. The Razorbacks have come to play today. Looking very good here early. Forcing turnovers, converting those in the baskets, and attacking the rim. All of their activity so far has been down in that area around the basket. Scoring and getting fouled here. Ricky Scott getting to the line. And Scott completes the three-point play. You know, very turnover margin, not really a sexy statistic, but it's one that has been so key for Mike Anderson's clubs. Yeah, it has been. Arkansas limits their turnovers, and in conference play, they're forcing 20 turnovers per game. South Carolina first, second in that category in the SEC, forcing over 17 turnovers a game. Their problem is they turned it over quite a bit as well. Actually, a negative ratio in turnover margin for the Gamecocks. Open man is Scott. Eight points for Ricky Scott, and the Arkansas lead is 12. Razorbacks playing outstanding basketball here early, attacking the basket, letting that start their offense. Good drive by B.J. Young that last trip. Ricky Scott on the conversion. Arkansas in the middle of a 10-0 run, and Frank Martin wants to calm his guys down. The Razorbacks have so many advantages in this game. Their size inside, Mickelson and Powell. South Carolina has to focus on that. And with the drive by B.J. Young into the lane, he's able to hit the uncovered shooter, Ricky Scott, for an open jumper. Scott, a decent three-point shooter. Knock that one down with confidence. Now, when you think about Arkansas and the way they've been playing over the years, defense comes to mind. And where they rank defensively in the Southeastern Conference. Well, how about this? Turnover margin, we've talked about third best in the nation. They'll block some shots as well, and of course steals. We've already seen a little bit of that. Yeah, the Razorbacks, a very good defensive team. They play at such a fast pace that you look at their op opponent's points per game, it's around 66 or so per game, and you think, well, they're okay defensively. But the Razorbacks playing at such a, a fast pace, they, it mask is the fact that they are doing a great job at the defensive end of the court, especially at home. Shot clock under 10 for Ellington. Richardson on the floor. Gamecocks now one of six from the field. Smith high off the window and in. Second tip off the mark, and Richardson clears it for Carolina. These teams like to get up and down. We're getting into that fast-paced tempo. Carrera will try a three. Kaichinis on the second effort. Nice job by Kaichinis, battling inside, getting the extra opportunity, and getting the shot to fall. And a long opening stanza, still waiting on the first media timeout as Young takes it strong, offensive foul. And guess who drew it? Michael Carrera. 
Timeout on the floor, and we come back. Barry Booker breaks down the Arkansas defense. The wheels of progress haven't been very active lately. But because of business people like you, things are beginning to get rolling. And Regions is here to help, making it easier with the expertise and service to keep those wheels turning. From business loans to cash management, we want to be your partner moving forward. So switch to Regions, and let's get going together. There's nothing more thrilling to SEC fans than when our teams win. Winning is what SEC student athletes are used to, both on and off the field. Winning means commitment, and commitment is precisely what our corporate sponsors have pledged in their support of SEC athletics. And every time you support SEC sponsors, you're boosting the dreams and aspirations of more than 5,000 student athletes. The SEC corporate sponsors and you. Now that's a team. When you're the best-selling car in America, the competition is going to talk about you. Just like a Camry. But who do Camry buyers really listen to? Well, they listen to their friends who are on their third or even fourth one. And after a test drive, they listen to that little voice in their head that says, Camry, the Camry. I'm in. They can keep talking. like a Camry. I'm going with the Toyota Camry. Get 0% APR for five years on a new 2012 Toyota Camry. Toyota, let's go places. Fourteen oh five to play in the first half. Arkansas leading South Carolina fifteen to seven. While we were away, they were looking at that last foul call, the play involving Michael Carrera. But first, Barry, let's break down the defensive efficiency for these teams. Yeah, I talked about how pace of play can cover up how good a team is as far as their defensive ability. In Arkansas, a lot of times you see these stats per 100 pos possessions, so that would be 68 points per, per 100 possessions for Florida, 76 points approximately per 100 for Arkansas. The Hogs very good at the defensive end of the court. In South Carolina, their lack of size gives, makes them have a tough time at the defensive end of the court. A lot of folks paying attention to that, those defensive efficiency stats here lately. I like it. Particularly those Vanderbilt alums that can digest <laughs> all those numbers. Foul on the floor. That's uh, number four for Arkansas, Cody Clark. Clark just entering the game, junior from Memphis, Tennessee. Inside to Slauson. Slauson got it back. And a fresh 35 for the Gamecocks. South Carolina, a good offensive rebounding team. They're doing a better job battling in there, getting the extra opportunities. That's Brian Richardson. Almost a steal by Smith and Ellington. That's what South Carolina needs to do make this game into a scramble. They're going to have a tough time defending Arkansas around the basket if they just let Arkansas play half-court basketball. Oh. Coming up next on the SEC Network at 4 p.m., the LSU Tigers take a visit to Kentucky to take on the Wildcats in Big Blue Country. Kentucky's a very interesting team. So many great young freshmen, but Again, they've been taking some lumps a little bit on the road. They have been. Of course, they get everybody's best shot defending national champions, which is most of this group of Wildcats has nothing to do with, but everybody gets excited to play the Wildcats. I think that's part of the reason they're struggling here early. Arkansas basketball with six on the shot clock. Gamecocks in the midst of a 6-0 run after the Razorbacks went on a 10-0 run. The 
looked like Kaichen has got a piece of that. His first block. Six-point game. Arrow is passed by Richardson. Good job by Eric Smith coming up with that basketball. And Richardson drains the triple. He is such an important factor on this team. Frank Martin telling us, you know what? When I first got here, he had no confidence. I told him, you can play, young man. You just got to believe in yourself. Another block. And out of bounds off of Arkansas. South Carolina ball. Boy, everything is better when you make shots. Brian Richardson open on that wing. Nice pass from Eric Smith. Richardson, a 39% three-point shooter, drains another. And South Carolina cranking it up defensively. Does that give the, get the Barry Booker seal of approval form on that jumper? Oh, that's nice technique on that one. And a good setup. The, the setup is always key for a shooter. Good pass from Eric Smith to set up that jumper from Richardson. Gamecocks breaking pressure. Richardson again. Well, won't get a much better opportunity to shoot it there. Brian Richardson wide open. Speaking of wide open, and the shot is missed. That was Kiko Hyder. He wasn't ready to see that. Slauson inside the paint, and it's a one-point game. Lawson clearing space, moved Cody Clark out of there. Looked like it might might have been an elbow or hand or something to the face of Clark. Arkansas has not hit a field goal in the last four minutes. Slauson picks up his first foul as we go to break. Gamecock starting to heat up outside and in with R.J. Slauson. Red Lobster's 30 shrimp. Wow, that's a lot of shrimp. It's Red Lobster's 30 shrimp. For $11.99, pair any two shrimp selections on one plate, like mango jalapeno shrimp and Parmesan crunch shrimp. Just $11.99. Offer ends soon. I'm Ryan Stewart, and I see food differently. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, call now to get the new talking meter. Areva makes it simple. They bill Medicare directly. There are no upfront costs. And they deliver your supplies right to your door for free. We're Shelter Insurance. We know you don't stay in business for more than 60 years unless you treat customers right. We think insurance is better when it relies as much on humanity as it does on technology. And we know what the weather is like in your area because we live in your area. Shelter Insurance. For your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Alongside former Vanderbilt star Barry Booker, 15-14 hour score. The Gamecocks in the midst of an 11-0 run. When you take a look at Arkansas since 2003, everybody plays better at home than on the road, but those numbers, <laughs> that's about as big a differential as you'll find. That is remarkable under Stan Heath. John Pelfrey in last year with Mike Anderson, only 12 wins out of 80 games over the last 10 years on the road. 
pretty solid at home. That 50 and 30 is not too shabby. But the Hogs, if they're going to take that next step, get into the NCAA tourney conversation, they need to be able to win away from Bud Walton Arena. Look at this technique here, Brian Richardson, he had nailed that three-pointer also. Coming down, pulling up, able to stop before he got to the taller defender. Drop in that jump shot. Nice move by Richardson. Idar up top. Hometown product out of Fayetteville led his high school to two state championships. And he stepped out of bounds. And the guy that caused that turnover with the defense was Carrera. Yeah, Carrera very active. Always using his hands in great position along the baseline to force that turnover. Carrera is a guy you can get exhausted just watching this kid <laughs> play. I mean, he is high energy all the time. Even when he was out of the game, he was standing up, exhorting his teammates into it. Gamecock showing patience on offense. Not sure where that was going from Eric Smith. And a rear screen there, just one. Neither team able to come hook up on the alley oop plays. Back to back turnovers. Gamecocks get it back. Arkansas came out of the gates roaring. They look Outstanding at both ends of the court. They have really cool, and it was 15 to 3 at one point, about six minutes or so ago of game time. The game talks have fought their way back. Well, here we are, we're almost 10 minutes into the game. The man with the ball, Bruce Ellington, hasn't fired a shot yet. Showing a lot more patience. Beautiful feed to Carrera. Second effort is good. Bruce Ellington created that with his dribble penetration, doing a nice job running the show for South Carolina. And the Gamecocks lead. First lead of the game for South Carolina, a 13-0 run. Wide open three. Williams, tie up, possession arrow. To the Gamecocks. Michael Carrera catching the nice pass from Bruce Ellington. Unable to get the first attempt down. Good block by Powell. But Carrera able to finish and enjoying himself. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Martin calls him the bull. Sometimes he's been a bit of a bull in a china shop. He's been a foul magnet at times, but overall, but a huge impact player just as a true freshman. Steal by the Razorbacks, off and running. And Young banks it in to end the drought. His first bucket of the night. Finally for the Razorbacks, they get another turnover from South Carolina. Gamecocks really struggling when this game slows down. They have to play half court against this set defense from Arkansas. That puts an end to a six minute and 15 second drought for Arkansas. Carrera. Rebound Slauson and he's hacked. One of the things about this Arkansas team as we take another look. Well, the turnovers from South Carolina. Haven't seen this much lately and Arkansas has struggled to score. But when they get those turnovers, the steals especially in live action can push it right away. It leads to easy baskets for the Razorbacks. Slauson 71% on the season. A junior out of Charleston, South Carolina. Put on some weight and then the offseason got stronger. This team has been lifting more than they ever have in the middle of the season. Something Frank Martin says eventually will pay off dividends. 
A lot of good signs around this South Carolina program. The, the body's beginning to change. They look a lot stronger on the court. I love the way they move the basketball, share the basketball offensively. Just need more playmakers. Before the turnover, an offensive foul on Goley. That's his second. Goley driving down the lane just didn't know what he was going to do once he got in there. Carrera able to step in, take the hit, and get possession for South Carolina. You get the feeling before Michael Carrera and his career is done in the SEC, one of these years he's going to lead the league in charges. He might do it as a freshman. Yes, indeed, he is very active. I, I think a solid building block for Frank Martin and his program. Almost another turnover. Jackson hits it from downtown, and that's a new splash in itself. Not known for his outside shooting. The Razorbacks staying cold. B.J. Young misses a deep one. Richardson for three. And a timeout called by Arkansas. Eight points for Brian Richardson. Boy, it looked like South Carolina was about to have a turnover, but they came up with the basketball, able to kick it outside, and Richardson drained another three-point shot. The Gamecocks rolling offensively. They have dominated these last few minutes of play. A 20 to 2 run over the last seven minutes plus action. Frank Martin, one of the first year coaches in the Southeastern Conference. You look at the array of guys in their rookie campaign in this league. Johnny Jones of LSU, Rick Ray of Mississippi State. Frank Martin with a solid start. And again, whenever you're evaluating the job of a coach in his first year, you have to consider what he inherited. Yes. And when you consider that, I would say most people look at Frank Martin, the job he has done, all these games in the SEC have been close. I think he's done an outstanding job so far. I think all three of those coaches are very good. Johnny Jones, Rick Ray, all three will do very well with these programs in the SEC. Mickelson turns it over. Ellington, clear path in the bucket. Hadar got lost defensively. He was, as a guard, stepping over to contest with Bruce Ellington. Everyone moved away from Ellington. Like the patience being shown by Bruce. I think that was his first shot attempt there. And a real good one. Powell slips and falls. Another turnover on the Razorbacks. How about this move by the wideout turn point guard? Gamecocks had a roll. Good things come in threes at Joseph A. Bank. We're a huge selection of our suits and sport coats. Our buy one, get two free. Plus, any three silk ties, absolutely free. And almost everything else in the store is 40 to 70% off. That's three Joseph A. Bank suits or sport coats for the price of one. Plus, three free silk ties to match. This Friday and Saturday only at Joseph A. Bank. We didn't always watch football at Buffalo Wild Wings. So great to see you guys outside the office. So you brew your own beer? Yeah, for you, Bratwurst beer, and this one's a secret. <laughs> Drink up. This one's ready in two minutes. Protect the football. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed $50,000 in taxes. But listen. Your tax problem is settled. You only owe $8,400. What a great message. 
If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number. Let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. Call this number or go to tax10,000.com. When you're the best-selling car in America, the competition is going to talk about you. Just like a Camry. But who do Camry buyers really listen to? Well, they listen to their friends who are on their third or even fourth one. And after a test drive, they listen to that little voice in their head that says, Camry, the Camry. I'm in. They can keep talking. Like a Camry. I'm going with the Toyota Camry. Lease a new 2012 Toyota Camry for just $189 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Dari, thank you much. Uh, Barry, it just seems like nobody wants to stay at number one, number two, <laughs> or number three in college basketball. I think we got a team down in Gainesville that's going to spend a, a lot of time up at the top of the poles as this season moves along. You see the field goal comparison here. It is completely changed on a dime. Arkansas ice cold. The Gamecocks red hot. The Razorbacks were forcing those turnovers, attacking the rim, just rolling in the, in the first few minutes of the game. They have cooled dramatically. Open look for Richardson. Pretty. Yes, outstanding ball movement by South Carolina. Lakeem Jackson with the drive, pitching it out for the open jumper. Another one by Richardson. Richardson with 11 points. He only had seven in the last four games. Foul by Carrera. And that's going to be three free throws. Oh, it's South Carolina moving it so well. I think that's the big difference with this club. Last year was a lot of dribbling, a lot of one-on-one -on -one action with this team under Frank Martin's system. They move it extremely well, set each other up for scores. Beautiful pass by Jackson to Richardson for the three. I sat and watched about an hour of Frank Martin's practice yesterday, which at times made my eyes water, but that's another story altogether. <laughs> but they worked hardest on breaking down the zone, finding the open man, and so yeah. far they've done a good job. Yeah, they a big focus for Coach Martin is that ball movement, sharing the basketball in South Carolina, which was one of the lowest as far as assists over the last few years, they are moving around extremely well, done a much better job helping each other get shots this year. And off to Jackson. Gamecocks were up eight at the half against Missouri. They weren't able to close that deal. We'll see if they can keep it going today. How about Brian Richardson? That normally is not a part of his game. He's a, an outside shooter, not a guy in the paint. Looks like a force today. He's had that size advantage over Hadar. Brian Richardson with his confidence high. Keep giving him the ball. Out of bounds to the Gamecocks. Well, next Saturday on the SEC Network, 1.30, it's Auburn at Missouri, then Georgia at South Carolina, and at 4 o'clock, Alabama takes on Vanderbilt. Alabama, big win a couple days ago against Kentucky. Tied at 4-1 and one in the SEC after uh, some perplexing losses in non-conference play for them. They're starting to play the way we thought they would this season as a NCAA tourney-type team. Ellington, ooh, bit of a force. <laughs> no doubt. Off balance, spinning, contested. 
Pretty move by Mickelson, but he can't get it to drop. South Carolina now in control of this game. That time Ellington got square and the result was a good one. And on balance, another good pass from Lakeem Jackson. He is very good setting up his teammates, averaging better than two assists per game. Hytrenis, top four for the rebound. Numbers here. Slashing and getting the bucket of the foul is Lakeem Jackson. Gamecox on a huge run, and the senior a chance for three. Hello friends, the Papa John's Super Bowl 47 coin toss experience is here. Vote heads or tails now and order at PapaJohns.com where any large pizza is only $11. That's any large pizza, even specialties, just $11. Red Lobster's 30 shrimp. Wow, that's a lot of shrimp. It's Red Lobster's 30 shrimp. For $11.99, pair any two shrimp selections on one plate, like mango jalapeno shrimp and Parmesan crunch shrimp. Just $11.99. Offer ends soon. I'm Ryan Stewart, and I see food differently. When it comes to the financial obstacles military families face, we understand. Our financial advice is geared specifically to current and former military members and their families. <laughs> Dad! Life brings obstacles. USAA brings retirement advice. Call or visit us online. We're ready to help. Learn more with our free USAA Retirement Guide. Call 877-242-USAA. When you're the best-selling car in America, the competition is going to talk about you. Just like a Camry. But who do Camry buyers really listen to? Well, they listen to their friends who are on their third or even fourth one. And after a test drive, they listen to that little voice in their head that says, Camry, Camry. I'm in. They can keep talking. Like a Camry. I'm going with the Toyota Camry. Get 0% APR for five years on a new 2012 Toyota Camry. Toyota, let's go places. <laughs> I think they hit a couple of threes, Dari. <laughs> yeah, the Gamecocks are rolling here on their home court. As you go around the Southeastern Conference, speaking of rolling, how about Ole Miss? 5-0 in conference for the first time since the 1930s. If you folks haven't seen Marshall Henderson play yet, watch him. He's fun to watch. Florida, Missouri, Ole Miss, the three teams, the top 25, and Noel, freshman of the week, in victories over Tennessee and Auburn. And a game next Saturday looming could be Ole Miss and Florida, 7-0 and against 7-0. and That'll be something. I expect the uh, Gators to remain undefeated. Not so sure about the Rebels. Got Kentucky coming up in a couple of days. Jackson on that one-handed free throw. That ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> Did Barry Booker ever do a one-handed free throw? Uh, not in a game. Maybe in a game of horse, right? Yes. <laughs> Arkansas has got to get into a flow offensively. Tough shot. And out of bounds to South Carolina. If you're Mike Anderson and company, who, who are you looking for to break the ice here on offense? B.J. Young and Marshawn Powell, your two leading scorers. Got both those guys out on the court. Young took that last shot. 
But man, the energy level that Arkansas started this game with. They were ahead 15 to 3 with about 16 minutes left in the game. And the wheels have come off since. Jackson out of a double to Slauson who walks. RJ got a little bit excited. He saw that C part ways, took an extra step. Arkansas has hit one field goal in the last 13 minutes. They are one of 15. Yeesh. Well said, my friend. <laughs> Here's a guy to go to. Powell. There it is. You called for it. Either Young or Powell. This time it's Powell. He's got seven. The hole is deep down two touchdowns here. There's still a lot of time left for the Razorbacks. See if they can chip away, maybe get the lead down within 10 as they head into halftime. A big couple minutes here. See if the Gamecocks can maybe stretch it out. Lawson. Ellington on a three. Got it. Well, the patience, the shot selection for the Gamecocks has been impressive. They are moving the ball extremely well, getting good shots. And today, it's knocking down about everything they see. Deflected pass by Powell. Way with an off balance three. No numbers here. And a foul on Arkansas. Free throws coming for South That's Carolina. On, That's on Wade. First foul on Wade and nine team foul. So a one and one here for Bruce Ellington. Boy, Barry, I mean, this is, sometimes you hear about a game being a tale of two halves. Well, this half has been a tale of two <laughs> stories. Arkansas came out guns ablaze, and they couldn't do anything wrong. And since then, South Carolina has completely dominated this game. They have controlled it, played very good defense, keeping Arkansas away from the basket for the most part. And South Carolina has eliminated their turnovers. Turned it over a bunch early, let Arkansas get rolling, but they've eliminated that, and it's been trouble for the Hogs. Nifty move by Goey to draw the foul. Picked up by Slauson, that's his second. And maybe this is what Arkansas needs, a couple of trips to the free throw line to get some confidence back on offense. One key to this, and we talked about it, Barry, so much of Arkansas's offense comes off turnovers. The Gamecocks just six turnovers. Yeah, not bad in the, uh, probably five of those in the first right four minutes or so of the game. The Razorbacks have really struggled without the assistance from South Carolina. Although these last couple of trips, they've gotten back to attacking the basket. My goodness, 17 point edge for the Gamecocks. Ellington gets a breather. He has eight points and the free throw is good. For Goey, the junior by way of Fayetteville. Almost a turnover. Kaichinis. And now deflected out of bounds with three to shoot. And it seems like every time that the ball has been knocked away, it, it has looked like it's it may be a turnover against South Carolina. The Gamecocks have, have come up with the basketball when it's loose and frequently converted that into points. Smith has to heave it and nails it. <laughs> wow. Everything falling for the Gamecocks in this first half. And almost 
A chance for three for Mardrakis Way. They almost turned it over on three different occasions on that possession, and with the shot clock winding down, Eric Smith barely getting it off, but of course it goes in. They're making everything. This is what we love about the game of basketball, isn't it? Carolina came in shooting just 33% from downtown. They have hit <laughs> their last six three-point shots, six in a row. Yeah, it started the game kind of true to form, one for four from three-point range, but now seven of ten. Making everything they look at, and now they, they get the last possession of the half. Well, if this game gets easy when you start draining everything you look at. Lakeem Jackson only made one three-pointer on the season. Hit that one in the first half. Brian Richardson got rolling. He made four in the first half. Bruce Ellington's made a couple. It is raining threes from the South Carolina Gamecocks. Shot clock off, Ellington, wow. Blew right by Antoine Bell. Powell got it to go before the buzzer. A much needed piece of momentum going into the locker room for the Arkansas Razorbacks. And easy one for South Carolina. Bruce Ellington going away from that screen. The easy layup, he recognized, hey, that's a receiver wide open. I got to get to him, but not big enough to handle Marshawn Powell getting that slam to trim the lead down to 17. Gamecocks up big as we send it to our SEC studios. teams in the league, Barry, but they do a tremendous job rebounding. Yeah, it is effort. The Gamecocks putting the effort in, a 10-point advantage on the boards, and a 40-11 run since Arkansas led 15-3. Well, you talked about the keys to this game. How do you evaluate them this far? Arkansas, when they played well early, going to the rack, they did a great job in that category, got away from that in the latter stages of the second half, and then South Carolina, a slight advantage, 12 to 11 in points off turnovers, and that's what Arkansas lives on. Razorbacks, to erase this lead, will have to do the job in that stat in the second half. Barry, it's always interesting to see how a team comes out that first stands of the second half when they're down the way Arkansas is. I suspect it was an intense locker room with Mike Anderson giving his team the riot act, but I guarantee you, if you stick with this game, it's going to get close or your money back. <laughs> the Razorback stick with Marshawn Powell as he's got 11. Carolina back the other way, Eric Smith. can't connect. I'd rather see Ricky Scott take that open three-point shot instead of driving it in, take the top two. Scott's a good enough three-point shooter that the open three is a better, a better look for him than driving into that traffic. Arkansas with full court pressure, but one of the stories of this game, the Gamecocks have handled it well, just six turnovers. Making their shots, everything goes so much better when your shots are falling. Let's see if that hot shooting continues for the Gamecocks. Shot clock down to five. Now two. Ellington's going to have to launch. And great defense there by Arkansas on the half court. In quite a few possessions for South Carolina where the shot clock has wound down and they haven't been able to get off a good shot. They made most of them, though, despite <laughs> the fact that they weren't very good shots at the end of the shot clock in the first half. Those shots were going down. Good D by Arkansas. That's what can start a run. Tough drive along the baseline by Powell. He'll go to the free throw line. Now, Marshawn Powell, a young man, already over a thousand points in his career, despite being injured the better part of two seasons. At 33 in a game against Oklahoma this season. And yeah, Marshawn Powell 
an inside out guy. You have to expect respect his ability to knock down jump shots. And he is tough around the basket as well. And Frank Martin was livid about that last possession. <laughs> he wants something to throw. I think it might have been a towel. I don't think you can hurt anybody with a towel. <laughs> That's a good thing. You'll have to guess about uh, what Coach Martin is thinking. Usually kind of show. Sixteen point lead for the game shots. Smith runner hangs on the rim and it was tapped out of the offensive goaltending. It might have gone down anyway, but I believe Shakavius just couldn't help himself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one was going in. Not a smart play there, obviously, in Arkansas. The door open a bit. Nicholson ran right into the underbelly of the rim. Ellington. Was above the square, down through the hole. He's got 12. And here's a guy that's going to have to get involved a little bit more, Barry Booker. And there's that floater by Eric Smith. That ball off the glass, hitting the soft front rim. It's falling in. Definitely touched there. I think that's Cassinus. European names. I'm having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of syllables with the Lithuanian connection. Both young men actually have been playing with each other for years. Shakavius and Kaichinus. Jackson hacked and fouled as he goes down hard. Foul is on Scott, his second. Jackson in some pain there, adjusting that knee brace. It looks like he's okay. A lot of contact there. Got Ricky Scott in the air. Scott, his full weight landed on Lakeem Jackson. If this is your first time seeing Lakeem Jackson shoot a free throw, a career 35% free throw shooter, he has tried everything, and this is the latest of the bag of tricks. Avert your eyes. <laughs> Shooter's touch, right? Do not try this at home. <laughs> All right, a shooter, you, you do want it to be pretty much a one, a one hand shot, but that other hand is important. It helps you balance it on your strong hand. It's an advantage to use the off hand. You just don't want it too involved in the shot. Lakeem Jackson needs a little more shot doctor. He Wave it off, a lane violation. On Shakavius. Boy, when you've got a guy who's hitting 35% for his career and he makes one, you can't have that. <laughs> Frank Martin. Oh, my goodness. Like these guys, we can't stand prosperity. That would have made it a 20 point lead. As it stands, it's 19. Had the goaltending take away a, a sure two. That's a great cut by Young, but can't finish. And don't get much easier than that. B.J. Young couldn't quite complete it. And it will be South Carolina basketball. Bruce Ellington hustling from out of nowhere. Looked like an easy one for B.J. Young. Ellington slapped the backboard. Could have called goaltending on that. But the Gamecocks catch that break. And now a three-second violation. And I believe that's on Kajunas. Well, this team will test Frank Martin's patience. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> but one thing he has told us now is that he, when he looks at this team, there's no guys that are difficult to coach. He doesn't want to break them down too hard. He, he likes the overall attitude of this team. They just sometimes make some mental errors that will test his patience. Well, and the, the talent level, not what he wants it to be and not what it will be here at South Carolina in a few years with Coach Martin at the helm. 
Well, Arkansas is going to start testing the patience of head coach Mike Anderson. That's an unforced turnover right there. And the Razorbacks squandering a great start to this game. Came out with a lot of energy and have collapsed since about the 16-minute mark of the first half. And the foul is on Arkansas. That's on Wade, his second. Mardrakis Wade, a junior by way of Memphis, Tennessee. He's already got 100 career steals. Arkansas normally racks up a ton of steals, but not so far today. A 19 point lead. Arkansas needs to crank up their defense, need to get into full court pressure anytime they can and really pressure the basketball in the half court setting as well. Their only hope of getting back in this is to speed up South Carolina and force turnover. Powell on the strip and the pass is deflected away by Ellington. Coming up, Barry Booker is going to show us how to use the glass to your advantage. Gamecocks in the lead, 48-29. If there's one thing we're learning, it's that saving money takes teamwork. True. Instead of going out to eat, we're cooking more. Instead of writing checks, we use our check card. So it helps us track our spending down to the penny online. Or with mobile banking. And the cash back and points from rewards can really help. We know more, so it's easier to save more. Feel smart. I wish I'd started clipping coupons sooner. Keep up with your money and earn rewards. Regions Life Green e-access account. Pretty smart. Do your thing with the rest to us. Ramada Worldwide. Book now at Ramada.com to get our best rate guaranteed. Do your thing. You do your thing with the rest to us. Ramada Worldwide. Book now at Ramada.com to get our best rate guaranteed. He scores a ton. Dude's got a rebound, too. Guys, why argue when you can go to WoodenAwardVote.com to help pick the Wooden Award Player of the Year, presented by Wendy's. Vote for a guy that can score, rebound, and run the fast break. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, call now to get the new talking meter. Areva makes it simple. They bill Medicare directly. There are no upfront costs. And they deliver your supplies right to your door for free. Gamecock faithful excited about the way things are going thus far as South Carolina trying to pick up its first conference home win of the season. Barry Booker, give us a little breakdown of shooting it off the window. Well, you hear so often that you should use the backboard. It's a higher percentage shot. This is why. When you put it on the backboard, the backboard slows the ball down, so it has a better chance of getting on that rim and falling in. The first contact with the rim is with the front of the rim after it hits the backboard. The front rim is softer and more likely to allow the ball to fall in the basket. And then you have a higher target when you're shooting. You, those short ones never go in. With putts, with shots, same thing. If you don't get it to the rim, it doesn't go in. The higher target gives you a better chance of making the shot. Those are the three reasons why going to the glass is higher percentage. It's amazing how many young players today never use the glass. Guys like Scotty Pippen made a living off it. And that may be why scoring is not what it was 25 years ago in basketball. Tenacious defense by the Gamecocks. Arkansas burns a timeout. Five to shoot, but we come back.
Hello, friends. The Papa John Super Bowl 47 coin toss experience is here. Vote heads or tails now and order at PapaJohns.com, where any large pizza is only $11. That's any large pizza, even specialties, just $11. What should we do? Better call our shelter agent. Yeah. Hey, Tom, you got a sec? Oh, yeah, sure. We know what the weather is like in your area because we live in your area. Shelter insurance for your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Red Lobster's 30 shrimp. Wow, that's a lot of shrimp. It's Red Lobster's 30 shrimp. For $11.99, pair any two shrimp selections on one plate, like mango jalapeno shrimp and Parmesan crunch shrimp. Just $11.99. Offer ends soon. I'm Ryan Stewart, and I see food differently. Fifteen thirty-one to play here in Columbia, South Carolina, where the Razorbacks have not picked up a win since 2001. And right now, that streak might be in jeopardy of staying alive for Arkansas. Meanwhile, for Frank Martin, this is the coaching career for Frank Martin at the collegiate level. He was part of one of the great high school programs for years and years at Miami Senior. Worked his way up the, chair, up the ladder with Bob Huggins at Cincinnati, followed into Kansas State. The job that he did at Kansas State was incredible. Four NCAA tournaments in five years, including an Elite Eight run, their first ever since 1988. And Arkansas gets the dunk before the buzzer sounds. Now, well, that's a ruling anyway. <laughs> Frank Martin was jumping up and down. Yeah, that one was late for sure after the shot clock, but. Arkansas benefits. We'll see if they can take advantage. Still down 17. And we're looking at Frank Martin's resume and man, the years and years he spent as a JV coach, as a high school coach, before he stepped into the college ranks. It is uh, quite impressive. The career coach got things uh, moving in the right direction here in Columbia. Jackson slithers inside for his eighth point. Fade away. Scott in the trees draws the foul. I'll go back to that shot clock situation. For those that are wondering, this is not reviewable. This is a shot clock situation, not a game clock situation. And obviously, Barry, that bucket should not have counted. Yeah, it is well after the, the horn, but the officials not allowed to review that by rule. You'll see a play like that happen. A lot of times you'll hear fans yelling for a replay. Again, that's not reviewable. Yeah, not at any time. I guess really the uh, the only time that might be looked at is at the end of the game where the shot clock and the game clock are really close together. In that situation, the officials could check that out, but not just during the course of the game. The uh, rule makers want to maintain the flow of the game. They don't, don't want to have every single issue reviewed. Richardson, Carrera on the slam. And a foul called as Carrera swats the offering from Clark. 
largest lead for the Gamecocks. Arkansas trying to press, trying to force some turnovers against South Carolina to work their way back in. Gamecocks break it beautifully. Excellent pass from Richardson. Easy finish for Pereira. Clark can't connect. Cody Clark, a 6'7 junior out of Memphis, Tennessee. You see the line on Michael Carrera. That doesn't include the stifling defense, which really as a whole, the Gamecocks defense has been spectacular today. Might be the best game they've played all year. Of course, as soon as I say that, the turnover. I would say so. They had 82 in an overtime game in their win against LSU. And they are ringing up the points the Gamecocks are today. And when in doubt, go to Marshawn Powell. 14 for the big man. Not much energy from Arkansas today on the road here in Columbia. We will have to bring it if we're going to get back into this one. That is two driving layups for Richardson. Not ordinarily a big part of his game. Slow this one down. Good decision by Ellington and the Gamecocks. No advantage on the break, so start working on that clock a little bit. Ellington without a single turnover so far in this game. Sets up Richardson. Carrera with another rebound. Williams rejected hardcore by Clark. Clark with that 6'11 wingspan. Great play by Clark to swap that one away, but South Carolina once again coming up with a loose basketball. Gamecocks are out rebounding Arkansas 29 to 13. That is unbelievable. Low energy performance today by these Razorbacks. Quite a block shot. Cody Clark coming over to swat that one away from Brenton Williams. And once again, when the ball is loose, it seems like South Carolina comes up with about 90% of those. Scott, tough shot. They, they beg your pardon. That's goalie with a beautiful hanging finger roll. Razorback score so they can get into their press. South Carolina very good handling the press for the most part. And a timeout called by Frank Martin. Carrera found himself in trouble in the backcourt. Coming up next on the SEC Network, you'll see the LSU Tigers paying a visit to Lexington to take on the Kentucky Wildcats. Well, we're getting to that point in the season, Barry. We start separating teams, contenders, pretenders. Everybody knows about the top three teams or so. What about a team under the radar that maybe you've spotted in the SEC? Well, um, Alabama, I think, has, has uh, crept in there at 4-1 and one in the league right now. We'll see what, uh, see what they can do today. Anthony Grant for the Crimson Tide as you take a look at Bruce Ellington's day. Well, Bruce Ellington has made great decisions running things for South Carolina. He has scored when the opportunities have been there. He's done a great job setting up his teammates as well. He played a little defense too. Bruce Ellington, the leader of this club and starting to feel more comfortable on the basketball court. And again, not a single turnover in this game. Talking about other teams in the SEC, Alabama's at Tennessee. That game going on right now. We'll see what the Tide can do in that one. Kentucky, I think people are thinking about kicking dirt on them, but I think those Wildcats are going to be all right. I think you're right. We go to break with 11.45 to play. Gamecocks 54, Razorbacks 37. Frank Martin still not quite happy yet. When it comes to the financial obstacles military families face, we understand. 
Our financial advice is geared specifically to current and former military members and their families. <laughs> Dad! Life brings obstacles. USAA brings retirement advice. Call or visit us online. We're ready to help. Learn more with our free USAA Retirement Guide. Call 877-242-USAA. Good things come in threes at Joseph A. Bank. We're a huge selection of our suits and sport coats. Our buy one, get two free. Plus, any three silk ties, absolutely free. And almost everything else in the store is 40 to 70% off. That's three Joseph A. Bank suits or sport coats for the price of one. Plus, three free silk ties to match. This Friday and Saturday only at Joseph A. Bank. Good times happen when you bring it. Bring the famous crystal. Now just $2.99 gets you three. Yes, three hot off the grill crystals, fries, and a drink just $2.99. Now at Crystal. Convincing ball game thus far for the Gamecocks, 54 to 37, with 11:45 to play here in Columbia, South Carolina. That time of year where you recognize college basketball coaches, recognize coaches versus cancer throughout the country. There you see Mike Anderson donning the sneakers, Frank Martin wearing them as well, and of course all the assistant coaches, staff guys along each bench. Something that's been done now for quite some time and always good to raise awareness. And it's hard not to talk about that without thinking about one Jimmy Valvano. You see the dominating performance on the glass for the Gamecocks thus far. 29 to 13, we talk about, uh, you know, it's hard to rebound when your opponent's making about all their shots, but South Carolina, 10 of those rebounds have been offensive versus 13 total rebounds for Arkansas. So talk about being a low energy day for the Hogs. That exemplifies it. That would be the lone exception is Marshawn Powell, who now has 16 as we look at our Toyota SEC leaders. And we're talking about turnover margin. Arkansas outstanding over six more turnovers from their opponents than the Razorbacks commit. South Carolina, they force quite a few, but give up a bunch as well. A negative stat in that category, and that's for all games. And 14 turnovers for South Carolina, leading to 20 Arkansas points. Not enough of that for the Hogs today. That's been really the only stat in the favor of Arkansas today. This guy. It's always physical in the paint when Michael Carrera is involved and he's banging against opponents, slamming up against his own teammates. <laughs> he is truly a one-man wrecking crew down in the paint. He's a great foul shooter, but having a tough time there today. Miss, that's his second miss from the line today. One out of two for the freshman. Well, if the Razorbacks are going to make a run, better get it going. Inside, boy, Marshawn Powell right now is absolutely on fire. He's been unstoppable. It is the big advantage that the Razorbacks have in this ball game. Marshawn Powell around the basket. 
Wade. Oh, with the follow, and Arkansas is on a run. Great hustle by Marshawn Powell. The lead suddenly down to 10. Here's a chance for the Gamecocks. Richardson responds, putting an end to an 11-3 run. Jump ball and the arrow goes to the Gamecocks. The Gamecocks cranking it up defensively. Ellington, for no reason, picked up that dribble out just across the half court line. Wade able to get his hand on it and ended up in a Powell slam. Arkansas was starting to work their way back into it. South Carolina. Good job against the Arkansas pressure on the last possession. The Razorbacks able to get an easy basket from Brian Richardson. Smith out of a double. Almost another turnover. It seems like just about every time that ball has bounced away, it's been anyone's basketball. South Carolina has come up with about 90% of those today. Five to shoot. Smith on a leaner. And a foul on Slauson. Reach in foul. On Cody Clark. We talked about Frank Martin. How about this man, Mike Anderson, a longtime assistant under Nolan Richardson. Did a terrific job. Led UAB to the Sweet 16. Also had tournament success at Missouri. And you had a chance to talk to Mike Anderson about why the switch from Missouri back to Arkansas. Yeah, it was uh, really interesting hearing him talk about how things were really going well at Missouri. And uh, he just decided he wanted to come home. A lot involved in that decision. But being back in the SEC and back at Arkansas, I think it would have been interesting if Missouri had made that move to the SEC a year earlier. And Coach Anderson was aware that Missouri was going to be back in the SEC. That, that may have changed his thinking a little bit. But I think he is thrilled to be back at Arkansas. And uh, some very good things ahead for the Razorbacks. Six team fouls now on the Gamecocks. If you're the Razorbacks, you got to let number 33 touch it, don't you? He has been the one good answer they've had all day. Well, he touched it, but he bubble gummed the dunk. Wow. We start. Just nothing has gone Arkansas's way today. You know, when it looks like things are rolling in their direction, something like that. Marshawn Powell, the easy finish. Should have gone to the glass. Should have banked it. Richardson, the hoop and the harm. Not a good decision on that shot at the end of the break for South Carolina, but their, their effort paying off the offensive rebounds continuing to go the Gamecocks way. Arkansas scrambling, trying to press. And Marshawn Powell, instead of going for that shot block, to turn and go try and rebound it. The last line of defense on the press, he just open the door for South Carolina to get an easy basket whether that shot goes in or not he's going to be out of position Richardson Richardson just tied his career high with 20 as the Gamecocks fall back into his own Williams foul by Arkansas, the fouls on Kiko Hydar. Each team now with 16 fouls. And still a 17 point lead for South Carolina. The clock started, starting to become a big issue for the Razorbacks.
South Carolina with Ellington and his quickness makes this team so difficult to press. Shot clock down to five. Ellington in traffic. What a shot. What a game he has had. No turnovers, great decision making, scoring when the opportunities have been there. Bruce Ellington, I'd say he has found his basketball form. Bruce Ellington picking it up in this second half. 14 points, just one turnover, and a highlight reel take to the bucket right there. Red Lobster's 30 shrimp. Wow, that's a lot of shrimp. It's Red Lobster's 30 shrimp. For $11.99, pair any two shrimp selections on one plate, like mango jalapeno shrimp and Parmesan crunch shrimp. Just $11.99. Offer ends soon. I'm Ryan Stewart, and I see food differently. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, call now to get the new talking meter. Areva makes it simple. They bill Medicare directly. There are no upfront costs. And they deliver your supplies right to your door for free. College football fans really get into it. We paint our faces, decorate places, plaster cars, have rivalry wars, throw tailgates, cover our mates, shed some tears, shout victory cheers, do the wave. It's what fans crave. As a big fan of the SEC, I really get into college football. So do these little fans. We're all into it. Mascot oil. Get into it. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed $50,000 in taxes. But listen. Your tax problem is settled. You only owe $8,400. What a great message. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number. Let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. Call this number or go to tax10,000.com. Mike Morgan alongside former Vanderbilt star Barry Booker as we take a look at our USAA game summary. Gamecocks have been dominant, particularly behind the sharp shooting of Brian Richardson. 20 points out of him today, a great shooting day for Richardson. Eight of 11 from the field, three of five on threes. South Carolina dominating this game in virtually every way. I think the other part of it, the summary there at the bottom, B.J. Young, who had 27 last year in a win over the Gamecocks, held to just two points. He's really been a non-factor thus far. The Gamecocks really, re or Arkansas, really relies on B.J. Young and Marshawn Powell. They average between them almost 32 points a game. B.J. Young, a no-show basically today. Smith, oh, beautiful passing, and a foul called. You might want to see Shakavius go right up with that shot. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are limitations at play here, <laughs> but you love the ball movement by South Carolina. Swing it around. Hey, he's at the foul line. He didn't turn it over. What do you want? There you go. <laughs> 71% on the year at the free throw line. The freshman from Lithuania who originally signed with Kansas State with Frank Martin and followed Frank to Columbia, South Carolina. I'll tell you, when Frank Martin and this Gamecock program, when they recruit a score, they got a couple of guys coming in. When they play the, the way they do defensively, the yeah. way they rebound the basketball, they'll be dangerous. Yeah, the way they move the basketball, the quality of their shots is among the best in the SEC when they have better shot makers. You know, one of their recruits' last name is Mackey. It is a very good sign. 
all-time leading scorer here at South Carolina, B.J. Mackey. Chance for a three-point play. Speaking of B.J., B.J. Young taking it to the rack. With these stats roll by South Carolina, huge advantages across the board. 25 to 5 off their bench. It's been an interesting year for B.J. Young. You know, he's, he's averaging just under 17 a game. That's fourth best in the SEC, but his three-point shooting is down 20% from 41 to 21. I asked him about that before the game, and he, he said he played overseas and they had a smaller basketball, and he tried to adjust his technique shooting using that smaller basketball, and it has had a huge impact on what happens when he's got this uh, college basketball back in his hands. He has not found the technique. Working on it. Bell on a three. Antoine Bell, who's a three-point demon. 60 of his 77 shots have been from behind the arc. Good decision by Richardson there. No, don't force that pass. Take a little more time off the clock here. Jackson fouled. And that'll mean a one-and-one for South Carolina. I mentioned the transfer from Villanova. Tyrone Johnson, point guard, is going to come to Columbia next year to give a little bit of depth at that guard position. Bruce Ellington, you've got Williams, you've got Eric Smith coming back. You've got a pretty good array of guards next season, and eventually they'll find some bigs to complement that. Yes. That's a lot of, a lot of good signs for Frank Martin and this rebuilding effort here in South Carolina. <laughs> Lakeem Jackson on his two makes has hit virtually every part of the rim possible. Twice. <laughs> He's rattling it. They're getting it down. And <laughs> Even he has to crack a smile at that one. <laughs> oh my. He's a real likable young man. Very easy to coach. Does a lot of things to overcome a lack of shooting prowess. The lead is 21 for South Carolina. Zone defense by South Carolina, slowing things down. An advantage for the Gamecocks with this huge lead. Young just can't find the mark. Jackson beating everybody down the floor. And a timeout called by Arkansas. Mike Anderson can't believe it. His club giving up the easy layups after the missed shot. Oh, don't make me watch this again. <laughs> Lakeem. <laughs> He's using everything, using all of the rim. Lakeem Jackson, the senior, one of the leaders on this club, and experiencing some success here with Frank Martin now at the helm at South Carolina. One of the guys you saw cheering him on, Michael Carrera, who's also played a very good ball game today for the Gamecocks. An animated young man. <laughs> Talking to himself, interacting with the crowd, and productive as well. Scoring, rebounding, Michael Carrera, that freshman, he's going to be a, an excellent player over his career at South Carolina. staying in the zone. Smart move. Arkansas has had a tough time attacking it. They're not a very good three-point shooting team. This move to the zone has slowed the tempo of this game and limits the number of opportunities that Arkansas will have to make it a game. Powell ran out of real estate.
Around the screen. Inside. Now the basket. Shakavius. When it rains, it pours, and it is pouring <laughs> buckets for the Gamecocks. Oh, what a performance by the South Carolina Gamecocks. The ball movement, great shot opportunities. Arkansas caught in switch. The size advantage inside leading to another two for South Carolina as they are just cruising along. 43 points in the first half for the Gamecocks. Just coasting with 28 so far in the second half and a huge lead. Three ball. It's been that kind of day for the Razorbacks. Young will trigger. Good. Well, the rim is getting a workout right now. And finally, Powell puts an end to that possession. The only bright light for Arkansas, Marshawn Powell with 22 now. Is DJ Young getting another basket? All right, break this down, Barry Booker. We mentioned B.J. Young. His shot has been off. What do you see here? A 41% foul shooter last year, but you see he has the ball on the palm of his hand is the first thing. So he doesn't have good touch with the basketball. His elbow is out a bit. And he's just kind of slinging it up there at this point. Really needs to, needs to break that technique down and start from the, from the grip on the basketball and work all the way up to the elbow and everything involved in that shot. And that's really led to a tough performance at the office today for B.J. Young. Marshawn Powell, another half of that dynamic duo. He's been terrific, but he hadn't had a whole lot of help. And that's uh, those stats from Marshawn Powell's two games career against South Carolina. B.J. Young's one game against the Gamecocks with 27. And yeah, Powell's had another big day. Looking at Garnet and White, but no help from his teammates. How about Powell, 22 and 13? You've seen him a few times. We've both seen him over the years. Is he one of the best forwards in this league? He is a very complete player. Can step away from the basket and score from that distance. Also a good shot blocker and a rebounder. A really good piece for Mike Anderson to build around at Arkansas. Out of bounds to South Carolina, 3.56 to play. Gamecocks up by 21. Hello, friends. The Papa John's Super Bowl 47 coin toss experience is here. Hey, Jim, we're already giving away millions of free pizzas. Exactly, so why stop now? You're right, Peyton. Vote heads or tails, and if you call it right, you win a free pizza. Did you put him up to this? We may text every now and then. Vote now and order at PapaJohns.com, where any large pizza is only $11. That's any large, even specialties, just $11. Better, better ingredients, better, better pizza. pizza. Papa, Papa John's. John's. What if everyone in America wins? That's, That's a lot of free pizza. <laughs> Endless pools are an incredible alternative to traditional pools, making it easy and inexpensive to swim at home. Call our toll-free number or visit our website. A free idea kit and DVD will be sent to your home so you can discover all the benefits of owning your own pool. Compared to traditional pools, endless pools are simple to install, easy to maintain, and economical to run. Our precision engineered pools enable you to swim or exercise against a smooth current that adjusts to any speed and ability. Endless pools are perfect for year-round health and fitness, relaxation, and family fun. Our free idea kit and DVD will show you how easy it is for the whole family to enjoy a pool right in your backyard or home. An endless pool or an endless pool swim spa can become a showplace for your home. Call our toll-free number or visit the website to find out more about Endless Pools. The free idea kit will show you just how easy it is to be able to swim at home.
Thank you, Dari. We look forward to that in Lexington. And Game Time fans have been happy with what they've seen thus far. Maybe not so much happy the word to describe Frank Martin. That was after <laughs> that last play. He does not lose his animation, his fire at any time. No, he is, he is coaching them up, wanting effort, and not wanting this team to get sloppy despite the fact that they have the big edge here. Shot clock is under five. Lakeem on the steal. Oh, no. And draws the foul. <laughs> Going back to the line. <laughs> Third foul on Clark. You know, what South Carolina has been able to do now the last couple of games defensively, they held Missouri, one of the top teams in the country, to 33%. Arkansas today, 34%. And the Gamecocks on offense today shooting 58%. That is unorthodox. Never seen anything quite like what Lakeem Jackson is doing from the foul line. Iron unkind for Lakeem that time. <laughs> Iron sharpens iron, right? <laughs> 21 point game. Let's see what Arkansas has left in the tank here. Bell. And a bucket inside. That's Clark. Nice little pass from Fred Gully. FG3 with the pass. And Smith got trapped right near midcourt. That's not going to make Frank Martin happy as we look at the upcoming schedule for the Gamecocks. Looking to improve the 2-4 and four in the SEC. Very tough ball game coming up <laughs> on Wednesday night. Then you've got Georgia at home at Kentucky, Tennessee, and LSU at home. Not a whole lot of layups on that calendar right there. No, the SEC schedule is relentless. The 18-game schedule this year, as we have, have expanded to a 14-team league, and it is and gone away from divisions, of course, in the SEC. And uh, there are no breaks in the schedule. It is it is rough. We'll see uh, a, a nice measuring stick for South Carolina going to Gainesville on Wednesday. Take a look at what Michael Carrera has done. He's truly had the X factor. 13 points in the wins, just 5.7 in the losses. The field goal percentage. You know, the defense is always a consistent, but when you can get some offense from Carrera, it means so much to this Gamecock team. Only six for him today. But South Carolina really playing well, moving the basketball extremely well. And knocking down their shots, that's a big thing. They're shooting nearly 60% on the game. Ellington lost it out of bounds. It'll be Arkansas basketball. Bruce Ellington, who, by the way, on the gridiron, had five catches, 104 yards, and a touchdown against Arkansas. That was in a 38-20 Gamecock victory, and now trying to lead his team on the hardwood with 14 points. Razorbacks don't want to see him anymore, anywhere. Young. A lot of front iron on those Arkansas jumpers. And B.J. Young got in the lane, had a chance to pitch it over to the wing for an open jumper for a teammate, elected to take the shot instead. Those tough twos, contested twos, very difficult. You're going to shoot a low percentage taking that kind of shot. I'd rather get three points from greater distance on balance uncontested than taking that tough two. Powell got stripped by Ellington. You could see that coming. Powell has tried to handle the basketball in the break on several occasions here today. Another turnover. What a performance by the Gamecocks. And 
energy with which they play. A great job defensively. They hustle and scrap on the backboard despite their lack of size. And now getting Bruce Ellington rolling. This team's going to be a tough act. Tipped in by Carrera. Young out of control. Razorbacks, on the other hand, same story. Get them away from Bud Walton Arena. And they are not very good. Got cramps for, is that Ellington down over there? It is. Now, if anybody would be entitled to have some cramps, you think about that young man's schedule <laughs> the last few weeks. Catches the winning touchdown pass and the Outback Bowl for the football team. You know, we asked Frank Martin before the game today, are you concerned at all about his overall endurance at this point, all he's been through? He says, no. He says, you know, he's going to be rusty. He's worked more with the football team than in years past, but Bruce is going to be okay. He doesn't worry about Bruce Ellington. Trying to get some fluids into him. And Bruce Ellington, he's had a great career. Uh, the point that Coach Martin made was that he was a key component for the offense for the Gamecocks on the gridiron this year. 40 catches, 600 yards, not just a return guy. The last couple of years, Ellington has been able to come out and work with the basketball team as the football team prepared for the bowl game. But this year, he was such a big part of the offense, he didn't get to basketball until after that bowl game. And one other thing about Bruce Ellington, here's a guy who's just coming off football practice in the grueling regimen that is being a college football player. You go to practice, he's the last guy to leave the gym. He's still out there shooting jumpers when everybody else is in the showers. The intensity, the leadership, and the speed, a tangible component for this Gamecock team. Doesn't need the 40-yard speed, only 31 yards on the hardwood, but it translates very well. That looked like one of those National Geographic videos with a <laughs> cheetah chasing down a poor old antelope. <laughs> it's a mismatch. Under a minute to play. Damian Leonard checking into the game. Shot clock down to five. Smith to the cutting. Kaichinus. He's got four. Drive and kick. But Arkansas just can't find the mark from outside today. A fitting conclusion. South Carolina moving it well, getting the easy basket. Arkansas clanging a jumper. The Razorbacks. Got to go back to the drawing board, figure out how to do a better job when they get away from Bud Walton Arena. Clark with a late steal, but that's about all that went right for Arkansas today. A convincing victory for that man and his Gamecock squad. 75 to 54, your final score. We'll send it to our SEC Network Studios coming up later on today. It'll be Kentucky and LSU. And stay with us. We'll have a chance to chat with South Carolina head basketball coach Frank Martin. 75-54, your final score here from Columbia.